so today we will be able to identify and describe the different states of matter through our activity demonstrating models of solid, liquid, and gas. So first we're going to learn about what is the different characteristics of a solid, liquid, and gas. So a solid um, looks like this. The molecules in a solid look like this. They have a fixed shape. They have a definite volume. They're not easily compressible, and their rigid particles cannot slide past one another because they're so close. Um, does anyone have an example of a solid? Jess. Um, a brick. A brick. Mm -hmm. And why is a brick a solid? Because you can't change the shape of it, so it has a fixed shape, mm -hmm. and you can't compress it, mm -hmm. so it's not easily compressible and the molecules do not slide past one another. Good job, a brick is a solid. Okay, so the next one is a liquid. Um, a liquid can take the shape of a container. Uh, it has a definite volume still. It is not easily compressible, and it flows easily past one another, all of the particles. If you can see here, the difference between the solid and the liquid is that the liquid particles have more space to move freely between one another. Does anyone have an example of a liquid? Amelia. Milk. Milk. Milk is a liquid. And why is milk a liquid? Because when you pour a glass of milk, it takes the shape of the cup, and there's a definite <laughs> volume. You can't easily compress it, and it flows easily because you can pour it. Perfect. Okay, so the last one is a gas. A gas takes the shape of a container. It has no definite volume. It is compressible, and it <laughs> flows. E the particles flow easily from one to another. As you can see here, that it has the most space to roam um, and flow past one another. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to become the particles, and we're going to show what is a solid, liquid, and gas. So, if everyone wants to stand up and come to the square. Everyone needs to stand shoulder to shoulder. So, do you know what type of matter you guys are when you're standing shoulder to shoulder? <laughs> Abby. Solid. Yes, you're a solid. And does anyone know why you guys are a solid? Because we do not move anywhere. We stay in one place. But stay in one place. And we're place. tightly compressed together. You are not easily compressible. But why are you not easily compressible? Because we're rigid particles that cannot move or slide past. Can you guys? Others. Yeah. And can you guys get closer? Not yes. really. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Um, so now we're going to be liquids. So if you are liquid, you can walk around the room. Why are you a liquid now? Can anyone explain to me why walking around the room could be a liquid? Because we're taking the shape of the room. Oh yeah. We can slide easily past each other. Good. Now, a gas can slide even more easily past one another. So for a gas, what we're going to do is we're going to either fast walk or we're going to dance or skip around the classroom. So, does anyone want to tell me why this might be an example of a gas? Because gas can go whatever it wants. <laughs> Good job. Okay, freeze. Everyone touch their nose. Okay. Now, I want you, we're going to play a game of Science Says. Has anyone played Simon Says before? Oh. Does anyone want to tell me what Simon Says is? Abby. Well, first, we have to listen to whoever Simon is, and they have to say, Simon Says, touch your nose, and everyone has to touch their nose. But if Simon doesn't say, Simon Says, <laughs> if he just says, touch your nose, and you touch it, your nose. <laughs> All right. So, as Abby said, I'm going to be Simon. So, if I say to be a solid, then I want you all to become a solid and show me what a solid looks like. If I, want, if I say liquid, you guys are gonna go ahead and show me what a liquid looks like. If I say gas, then you're gonna go ahead and show me what a gas looks like, okay? 
Okay? Alright, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. If you're ready, then put your fingers on your ears. Cool. She did say Simon Says. Oh. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> okay, Simon Says it come with solid. <laughs> Simon Says you come with gas. First, I'm going to give you guys about a minute to discuss. A solid is a brick, cold butter, desk, and a baked potato. Does everyone agree with these answers? Give me a thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, awesome. So these are all solids. And can anyone tell me again why these are all solids? Give me one reason why they are all solids. Amelia. They are not easily compressible. So a liquid, so we came up with apple juice, milk, 
chocolate milk, and melted butter. So, can we, someone give me one reason why these are um, liquids? Kayla. Because they all take the shape of a container that they're put in. Good job, Kayla. All right, so these are all liquids. And then a gas. We have oxygen, methane, the air, and steam from the potato. <laughs> so, can, it, does everyone agree that these are all gases? Yes, they are all gas. Um, and does anyone want to tell me why they are all gas? Jess. <laughs> because the molecules move around really fast and they go wherever they want to. Very good. Now, I want for your exit ticket today, Everyone to get a piece of paper. And I want everyone everyone to draw what a saw looks like, what a liquid looks like, and what a gas looks like and tell me one characteristic of each. and then put your finger in your nose when you're done. Does anyone want to share? 